Okay, anyone, everybody can hear me. Uh, sorry for my voice, it's a bit down. I talk too much these days. Uh, so I hope my voice will manage uh, this 40 minute session. I think it will do. Um, we, who are we? My name is Rob, um, and I used to work a lot for academic hospitals, gathering their data in some way or another. And uh, that, that's why I am enthusiastic about R on fire, because a lot of research people in the academic hospitals, they use R in the Netherlands. And uh, they have a hard time getting their data. So we thought, uh, let's help them a bit with uh, building this R on fire uh, open source library. And next to me is Sander. And Sander, uh, you already uh, get the impression now, I am the talking manager, but he is the really smart developer doing all the work. Uh, and Sander will help me uh, through this session with all the coding that's uh, needed because you are in a let's build session now and that means that you have opened your laptop, most of you have at least. It also means that you put your fingers on the keyboard and then you do something. Well, we'll see what happens if it uh, comes to it. Uh, why are on fire? Uh, R on Fire is a package, you can download it from uh, either GitHub or uh, C-R-A-N, CRAN. Um, and we started with it because in the Netherlands we have this big project called uh, String of Pearls in which the academic hospitals, there were eight, there are now seven because two of them uh, went together in Amsterdam. Um, they are combining their data all over uh, the Netherlands to do research uh, on it. So somehow the use case came up, any researcher wants to know if I do a study, let's say for a rare disease in combination with a medication, um, how many patients are there in my cohort, not just in one academic hospital, but in all the academic hospitals in the Netherlands. And that project um, ac accelerated when the government gave a lot of money to it. And it's now in the stage that this big national uh, project in the Netherlands is uh, trying to introduce fire to use, to let the data uh, stay in the academic hospitals, but get an overview by combining those fire servers. There is two academic hospitals in the Netherlands having a fire server up and running, and uh, the expectation is that the other will follow soon. Sander started coding on the R on Fire packages, uh, a package to help the researchers uh, two years ago. And we made it an open source library so everybody can use it, and in this session, we try to uh, yeah, make clear how you can use it. In this session, we will work towards plotting this graph. Uh, this means that you, can, you have a simple cohort uh, of patients uh, with ear pain, and we uh, categorize them by age category. That's the goal of this session. And we do that session in four different steps, four different exercises. Uh, we start simple. And to the end, it gets a little bit more difficult, complicated, but we'll see how far we can come. And otherwise, you can, uh, we have all the exercises and the answers written down. So you can, uh, after this session, you can go on by yourself. Um, step one, fetch one patient. If you all go to, if you all are on this site, learn firely.1. Sander will show it on screen in a minute. Um, you can, you see a, uh, a box in which you can type some R code. If anyone has R and R Studio on his laptop, you can use that as well, maybe better even. Who has R and R Studio on the laptop here? Yeah, um, maybe almost everyone. The other, one, the other ones can use uh, this site, learnfirely.one. Um, and the first exercise we do is that you fetch a patient, uh, actually, on the examples tab page of the website Learn Finally Do One, sorry, the exercises tab, there, are, uh, there is the example, but it's not totally complete, the example. So you have to fill in a few uh, words of code there to make it work. And then what we do is we display the gender, the birth date, and the city of the address uh, of the example patient on the Funk Fire Server. So that's your first exercise to do. And Sander, we will walk around, walk around and uh, answer questions. And then uh, in a few minutes, you will show it on screen. 
as well. Yep. Yeah? Okay. Okay, S Sander will show it on screen, the first exercise, for the ones who want to follow the rest. All right, I will show you guys in the browser, everyone saw the example over here. I already copy pasted them in the, in the R browser. Now it's on. Uh, as hints, we have on GitHub, of, on GitHub, we have the search parms object. You can see how to use that. And on the HL7 side, you can see the condition uh, search for the search parameters, how you use it. So this is a bit more difficult than the first exercise. And remember, the, the, the example code is on the exercises tab in this Learn Firely uh, site. Okay, for the ones who are running out of time, Sander will show it on screen again.
Yeah. Thank you. Um, well, I've done a lot of, uh, of attended a few of the introductory classes, not only here, but also at the working group meetings of HL7. And this is always one difficult subject for, uh, for people who are new to FIRE. Uh, the API, FIRE uses a paging mechanism for bundle resources. And the API only returns the results of the first page. And if there are more pages, you need to fetch these two. So this is exercise free we are going to do. Uh, retrieving all bundles and um, uh, pages, yeah, retrieving all pages with the results in it. And there is, you can guess there is now a loop in the R program because you need to, to iterate over uh, the total. Okay, this is the next exercise. Take a look again at uh, ex exercise three on the exercise tab because it gives you a lot of code already. But not all. Okay, Sander will exercise uh, the answer on free. All right, this one was a little bit more tricky, I think. Uh, we also made use of an extra library for uh, regular expressions because it's not out of the box supported by R. Things you had to adjust were. Uh, was from previous exercises, you can see I gave that those for free. Here we needed to go to the, we needed to add the onsets. to our studio where I get in double sense and I can easily find everything. Here we get the onset. And it's just one string, that's it. All right, what, what we did, we uh, s uh, searched the server uh, for all, all conditions uh, regarding ear pain. Uh, we got the first 10 results uh, in our first bundle. Uh, over here, we started with a loop. As long as uh, the, our bundle is not null, we'll extract uh, the URL to the next page of the bundle, and uh, we'll fetch the results on the next page. And we do that by using the client object, and there's a method for it, and it's called continue. Yeah. Uh, you, 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 and you put in the ears bundle, then it uh, automatically uh, detects the URL to the next uh, page. Uh, we also retrieve all the uh, page, uh, extracted patient references. And we uh, fetch the patients and we, uh, uh, we extract their birthdays from the patients we took off the server over here. And finally, uh, we can easily show all the birthdays we found and the onset dates. So we can easily do, uh, yeah, no line number, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so so that, was, that one is good. I'll just copy paste of the, this assignment. It's easier when you are sure. We, we extract both to do a day period. So on what time they got the ear pain. Yeah, but you have to do that every time so you can get the best data. Ah, yeah. Uh, that's, the, that's the clever part. Uh, in, in a bundle, when you like get, like, uh, get like the 10 conditions, there's uh, for each condition, there's a reference to the subject it's uh, uh, involved. 
and uh, to get the birth date of that subject, uh, we need to fetch the patient resource the, of the subject to get the uh, birth date. But there is a smart way to do it because uh, 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 for every condition you uh, find in the bundle, you need to uh, uh, make another request to the server to retrieve the patient resource. This is uh, the naive way. The smart way, however, is to uh, use the include statement. And then you say, uh, if I uh, fetch the conditions, please include the patient. And then you can do this in the one call instead of for every uh, condition you find. Uh, and that was the more advanced way. And we, uh, we let no one out. So for the um, onset, we're using just patient reference, right? Yeah. Isn't it supposed to be the condition? Because the onset is in the condition, right? Wait. Uh, oh, this one, yes. Isn't it supposed to be like... No, the, you're, 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 you're completely right. And th those are in the ear bundle. And if you depress them, there we go. That was the mistake I was looking for. There we go. So now we got. All, uh, we looked through the whole bundle, and we got all the. What was the first? The uh, birth dates. Yes. And the onsets. Uh, they Shows no. Shows no. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the path. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Empty. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot. It's this part. So you have the ears bundle, then you have the empty, yeah. which are the resources, yeah, and, and then the onset time. Yeah. Yes. Nah. You have to take my word for it and let them know that it works. We can go to the next exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're going to combine everything. There we go. There it is. So we can easily do the data. Okay. That was... Oh. Yeah. We have, la we have five minutes left, so we move on fast to the next one. Oh, okay. why did you do that? Why is this? Why did you? Okay, the last one, number four. Uh, plot the results in a graph. Now, that's, not, that's more or less uh, more R than fire, but we, we, we have now uh, the patients. We have the conditions, I, I should say. Yeah, I mean, and the birth dates. And the birth dates. So the yes. So and now we can plot them in a graph. And that's exercise number four. You can take a look again at the uh, exercise four to help you get started. OK, people, Sander will show us again what to do.
Ah, there is it. Kind of <laughs> there it is. There it is. Okay, this was exercise four. Um, does anyone have any questions about our on fire? Because we are running out. It's time for us now. Yeah. Okay. Is it data part? Yeah. Data part? Yeah. And uh, I don't know if Dan is also a community uh, on R on fire that we can share. Uh, yeah. M maybe you saw Graham walking in in the beginning of the session, and he is, uh, he's done a few sessions as well about R on fire. And uh, we, we have the feeling that it starts to grow now a little bit. And my proposal is that we gather on the Sulip chat, the fire Sulip chat, and there's a research channel. And I think we should gather there because uh, the channel is already there and there are some questions about our on fire there already. So that would be the place to be, I think. Uh, but it's not very active yet, but maybe it comes. Uh, are you involved in some projects with our people? Yeah, that's the, the, uh, the our on fire is, uh, the, uh, I mentioned uh, two academic hospitals in the Netherlands have a fire server and both of them are exploring and using our on fire for their researches to get to the data. But it's it's in prototype and proof of concept. Did you make a comparison with Python? Also? No, we did we did not. No, I just know that in the Netherlands, at least in some of the academic hospitals, R is more popular than Python. But in in other countries or in other hospitals, it's the other way around. Sometimes Python is more popular. So it's uh, yeah. The R community is not Stack Overflow. Okay. Uh, that's oh, yeah. also possible, yeah. But because it, R on fire is fire related, yeah. then I think the Sulip chat would be the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want answers about <coughs> fire, then you should be at the uh, yeah. at the Sulip. Uh. I mean, on Stack Overflow, we publish a lot of library specific questions. Also. So it's like the ground. The uh, okay. The other yeah, in all the other ones. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, R blockers, you mean? Yeah. 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 But uh, you, you can still go there, of course, for all your R questions. But once you have a, a fire-related question, then I, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, people, thank you very much for attending, and I hope you learned something today. Yeah.